This is our tutorial on how to go from seated to standing without involving our low back in a lot of movement. So what we're going to do is when we're seated, we want to make sure that when we're getting up out of our chair, we bring ourselves close to the edge of the seat. Now from here we can keep our back nice and flat. We're going to stay stacked on top of our pelvic bone. And then from here, this is really important, we bring our feet close to us. We keep it right underneath our center of gravity, so we don't have to lean really far forward. But when we do lean forward, we're going to make sure that we lean forward as a unit, as opposed to rounding and curling, and then coming up to standing. So, nice flat back, we're going to lean forward, we're going to hinge from the hips. If we feel a big stretch in our hips, that's perfect, as long as our low back isn't stretching in and creating a lot of movement. So again, feet underneath us, lean forward. Now we're putting our weight into our feet and we're trying to stand up without having a big flexion or rounding movement. So a lot of people will come up out of their chairs and they will do this ah, and finally get all the way to standing. We're gonna avoid those little teeny scab picks. We're gonna make sure that we're going straight forward and then straight up. And then for returning back, we're doing the same thing. We're pushing our hips back, maintaining a, a flat uh, low back, maintaining a flat low back, and then we're going to drop down under control. The last couple inches, people want to lose it and get into a little bit of flexion there. Try to avoid that. Try to avoid those last couple inches, be under control, and then come to that stacked position. That's your seated to standing tutorial.